took advantage of the time I have here in Portugal to come visit Diogo's shop and see his car. He recently got back from uh, the FIA championship, the, the drift games in uh, Italy, and he did really well. Uh, he probably, I, think, I think watching it, he would have been on the podium, but his transmission broke, which is kind of why I'm here. I brought a transmission for him. He's going to use a dog box that I brought from, uh, from the States. And uh, so I said, let's take a look at his car and see what he's got, just to give a perspective of uh, a top-level European car. And you might think it probably would have a BMW engine, but it doesn't. The engine is from a uh, Mercedes SLK 230. Is that right? And uh, it has a turbo uh, instead of a supercharger. Uh, brakes from a Porsche uh, Cayenne, was it? If you look closely, they've been modified. To, uh, to fit the BMW uh, steering knuckle. The brake discs are from uh, BMW M5. Uh, the arms, you might guess being from Europe, they have Wisefab, but nope. The arms were made in-house here. And uh, I, got to, I got a chance to test the car and this, the steering angle is very good on this car. The coilovers are uh, HSD, um, which is a common brand here, sold by Driftworks. You see the oil pan has been modified to fit this chassis. The transmission, uh, which has been his weakness in this car, is from uh, also from Mercedes. It's pretty cool what they did here with the drive shaft. Everything is stock on the drive shaft until you get to where it connects to the transmission, which is where they modified it to, to bolt up to the Mercedes transmission. Surprisingly, the rear suspension is pretty basic, but it works really well. Um, he took advantage of the parts that already are here, modified it, uh, they do their own alignments in-house, and this car drives perfect. It drives straight, it drives really well, it's got tons of grip. Suspension and alignment is set up really well in this car. As you might imagine, it has a rear radiator, which is very well done. Um, electric pump, uh, electric fan. The car does not get hot, no matter what. Um, this car can stay on limiter for quite a while, and the, uh, the water temperature stays really good. The exhaust is all built in house. The key material. Inox. Ah, the stainless steel exhaust. And with the lev. It's super lightweight exhaust and uh, cuts off right off the axle. This is where uh, this is where the flames come from. <laughs> See the, uh, the water lines from the front to the rear are done in aluminum and they run under the car and he's got them tucked really nicely so uh, so they don't get damaged. And then here's the fuel pump, fuel filter, everything's tucked up nicely in case uh, of any off-track excursions there's no damage. The differential is from uh, BMW X5. It's a large case BMW diff and it's super strong. So the rear brakes also are uh, from a Porsche Cayenne, and the handbrake locks up really good. It works well, at no problems there. If you just look at the size of the rotors and the four piston caliper, let's take a look up top. So here we've got the Mercedes four cylinder. 2.3 Mercedes engine from the SLK 230 compressor. Of course, you won't find a supercharger here. It's been replaced with a Garrett uh, 3076 GTX 3076 turbo. The thing about this turbo is the way they've got everything set up is it spools super quick for being such a small engine. It has a really, really uh, linear power band. We've got a single wastegate. Es 50? 60. 63 millimeter wastegate. Then, of course, exits through the hood which is pretty rad. You'll find a lot of flames coming out of there too. The intake manifold was made by a local company um, here in Portugal. Use injectors. So, applicados pelo Mr. GTF? Ah, okay. Mas o original do GTF. Sim, 1.600. 1.600? 1.600. Ah, okay. So these are GTR injectors, 1,000 cc. Uh, electric power steering from uh, Opel Astra. Uh, the the engine doesn't use an oil cooler. 
but the oil temperature always stays really low, stays under control, which I, th I found really impressive because this guy likes to spend a lot of time on the limiter. Da -da 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 -da. And it doesn't, it doesn't get hot, which is, that's pretty impressive for a four cylinder that's pushing this much power. Quantos cavalos? Yeah? 600 horsepower? E vai mais? With the, with the new turbo? Yeah. 800 or 900, I'm sure. Com este bloco. Sim, this, okay. eu queria, queria tentar chegar lá. Dentro do motor, tem pistões, tem... Sim. Pistões, bielas, a cambota foi idealizada por nós, não foi feita, foi pegada na original e melhorada. Yeah. Uh, é só? Tem sets das válvulas, na tem. classe. Tem o quê? As sets da válvula, na classe. Que é Onde pôs a válvula, aquela... Ah, o, o valve seat, Sim. é isso, ok. Tem... Uh, tem nada. Tem... Tratamento Cabeça serana. trabalhada? Não Sim, muito? Um pouquinho, um pouquinho. Não muito. Mas tem, e foi pela Wolf na admissão. Uh, e uh, tem tratamentos cerâmicos. Que no é No questão, no questão vai para um tratamento? Nunca viste? Is that the most ali atrás? Ok. So, we've got... In this one, particularly, we have stock pistons, uh, prism rods. Uh, it's a stock head gasket, which he's saying is somewhat problematic. Um, he's looking for a solution for that. Tipo, ele andou estes dois dias, já está a mandar um bocado de água. Porque a junta está tipo, não ARP head studs. And uh, other than that, it's basically a stock engine, making 600 horsepower, which is really impressive. For a 2.3, that's really impressive. And this car, this car gets down. It does a really good job. So inside, we have OMP steering wheel. It's got a Link ECU. Um, the electronics in this car are really well done. It's a uh, Super clean installation in here. That's what I love about this car is it's just very, very well put together and they maintain it very well. You'll see all the fuses and relays are right here in plain sight. That way if there's any problems or any burn fuses, it's really easy to, uh, really easy and quick to identify the problem and fix it. Um, switch panel in the middle, very easy to access. I love this shifter, super cool. It's a, it's, uh, it's a shame that uh, It'll be going away, but the dog box is going to be a thousand times better. Oh, CAE is the brand of the shifter. So this is a BMW shifter that's been made to work with the Mercedes transmission. And it's a super short throw and it's super accurate to get into gears. It's a really nice shifter. The roll bar was uh, made entirely here in-house. That's your work, right? That's what you do? Yeah. The attention to detail in this car is, uh, is really nice. The door panels, the dash, uh, the aim cluster, everything is just so, so nice. Uh, and very well done. Let's take a look at the back. 25 liters. Fuel cell. This car does go through gas pretty quick. The tube work in the back is very well done. Um, and you'll see it has uh, bolts that make it completely replaceable to be removed if uh, you know if there's a crash or anything like that. We have the electric water pump. Everything's nicely tucked. Um, there's space for air to come in to cool the radiator. Uh, again, back to the idea of using factory parts. Very nice. The uh, expansion tank. A well done firewall. This car is just really, really clean. Very well done. So he's going to show us how the the back of the car comes apart. He has to remove it to repair some damage. So uh, I'm going to show how the whole uh, the whole rear of this car can come off. So with the rear fender off, you can see some of the details of the work that's been done here. It's all been cut to save as much weight as possible, and uh, all the little holes that are here have been covered with uh, pieces of sheet metal. Aluminum here, so that the, the tire smoke doesn't go in the car. Um, you see out back here, everything's been cut. And uh, the only thing that holds the shape of the car is the fiberglass. So if you hit anything, you have room for it to flex. Um, and of course, it saves a ton of weight. This car is very well built. Oh, you can see the comparison between this side and that side. Just a couple of tabs to hold it on. But it's still 
relatively strong. It's all about attention to detail. And if you see here, you still got the stock BMW kick panel plastics. Gives it a really good, uh, a really nice touch to the car. And everything is really well put together. You can see that uh, Diogo spent a lot of time on this car and his team, everybody that, that was involved in building this car, did a really good job on it. It's been a pleasure to see the car here, to spend some time. I got to drive the car, one of the only ones that he let me drive the car. And uh, this car is absolutely amazing. It's very well built. Um, very good job, well done in building the car. Uh, it drives amazing. I can't believe it's not a bigger engine, a 2.3 four-cylinder that has that much power and instant boost, instant torque. It's so good, so good. Uh, next time, you come visit me and you drive my car. Okay. That's what we're gonna wait for. So if you guys like the video, make sure to uh, like, subscribe, follow this guy, Diogo Tax. I'll leave his Instagram right here somewhere. I'll leave some space here, Instagram. <laughs> Uh, go follow him, what he does. He does awesome stuff. He's been competing here in uh, Portugal. And, uh, he plans on going to Riga, King of Europe. No, no, no. Drift Masters. Drift Masters in Riga. It's an awesome track. That'll be really cool at the end of this year. So keep an eye out for that. And uh, yep, thank you.